Hey guys, Dylan DeJesus here. Thank you so much for joining us for today's video. Before we can dive into the actual tutorial, we have a big announcement to share with you guys. We are ready to announce our next contest. This one is going to be the DCF video game contest. With the release of not one, but two consoles coming out this year, we thought this was the perfect theme for our fourth contest. So all you need to do to enter, just like any of our other contests, is post your entry directly to Instagram with the hashtag DCF video game contest. Now your pair can be inspired by absolutely anything video game related, whether you want to create something similar to the console itself, like the actual PlayStation Air Force, or this pair of PlayStation cleats that we did for Eric Ebron a few years back, or if you want to go a little bit more loose with it and pick it inspired by a specific video game, take a look at this epic pair of Air Force highs that Vic Almighty created recently. There is so much you can do. We also have a pair of Crash Bandicoot vans that we featured on a recent episode of Reviewing Your Customs definitely feel free to think outside the box on this one. All entries need to be submitted by Friday the 13th of November. From there, Jason and I are going to narrow it down to our final four. Those four will then be sent in for an episode of Reviewing Your Customs in which you guys will pick on the winner and the grand prize will be a $350 gift card to AngelusDirect.com. Good luck to everybody entering, but now let's go ahead and throw two minutes on that clock and dive right in. So this is something that you guys have seen us do quite a few times in the past, even here on YouTube. We have a couple different videos where we've sort of mixed this technique in, such as sometimes when we do this perpendicular text trick. Now this is a really great way of adding a very subtle little touch. It's not over the top, you're not going for a total metallic pearlescent type look. It's very subtle, it's one of those things where you sort of get up close to the shoe and you can start to enjoy it even more. This is also something that I did on the Kobe pair of Jordan 1s, which we featured in our portrait challenge, and you could see from this quick little behind the scenes Instagram story how nice that yellow actually looks once you do this metallic trick. So now for the actual products to make this happen, there's two Angelus Silvers that we need to talk about. First off, we have the Angelus Pearlescent Sterling Silver, and then we have the Angelus Metallic Silver. Now the main difference between these is pretend you were wanting to paint regular silver on a panel. What you would use is the Angelus Pearlescent Sterling Silver. But if you just wanted to add a little bit of a metallic glimmer into your paints, that's when you would use the Angelus Metallic Silver. Another way to think about this, if you're really familiar with the paints, is sort of the difference between Angelus Metallic Gold and Angelus Champagne Paint. The Champagne Paint is basically just a beige with a little bit of a glimmer mixed into it. Now in order to show the differences between the two different silvers, what I'm gonna do is take two parts of my Angelus Red Paint and mix in one parts of both of my silvers and we'll see what happens to both of the paint mixtures. Put that as a, yeah. And now for a quick little comparison, we have our regular Angelus Red directly in the middle. Over here on our left hand side, we have some of the Angelus Metallic Silver mixed into our red paint. And then on the right hand side, we have the Sterling Silver mixed in. And as you can see, when you mix in the Sterling Silver, since it is a stronger pigment, that's where you really start to sort of alter the color. You sort of start to lighten it a bit. It's almost as if you're mixing in a little bit of gray. Whereas on the left hand side, when you mix in the plain Metallic Silver, all your really doing is adding a bit of a metallic type sheen to it and you're really not altering the color that much that's still pretty close to red. You always have the option of using paints from the Angelus Pearlescent line but you're slightly limited with what colors you use and just mixing this metallic silver into your paint is a great way to take any color and give it a metallic feel. So there you have it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. This is a great little trick. Anytime you need to add just that extra little something, 
into your paintwork, into any custom. Spice it up just a little bit, nothing over the top. Very subtle, but still a very effective trick. But that's it for us today, guys. Really looking forward to seeing all of your entries for the video game contest. This is gonna be our final one of the year. We're gonna end this one with a bang. I know that we are gonna have some really unique entries with this one. This one, more so than possibly any other contest, is definitely going to be all over the place. So really think outside the box for something like this and looking forward to seeing all of those entry guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you guys in that next video.